Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very special Friday. Get ready with me. So a lot of you guys had previously requested to not do so much talking videos, to do an exciting one. So I'm going to give you your exciting one today. It is going to be paint a Bob Ross scene on my cheek. And also it is a get ready with me. So we'll be chit chatting. I'll be answering some old school questions and I'll also be answering some new ones. And you guys just basically said, can you do a video of why you left YouTube about six years ago? And I also want to get into that because I feel like that is a definite bonus video that I should have done. So let's get started. This is not going to be a perfect Bob Ross. I do draw and I am actually an artist in real life, but it's going to be done with makeup mainly and like a little acrylic. And I know that his specialty, Mr. Bobby, I'm gonna move my keyboard here so I don't mess up. Bob Ross was a really gentle, I just spilled all the paint on my dress, which is nice, very nice. Bob Ross was a special human being. Um, I kind of feel like he was the only one of his kind. I mean, you never find tutorials now or people that have that Bob Ross essence or flavor. He was definitely like a really amazing person. And I don't know, there's just something gentle about him that always brings things back to me. So I have, I have my cell phone here um, to be like my mirror, which I'll use, but I, the challenge is to use the viewfinder. So I'm just going to do a classic Bob Ross on my face. You guys are probably laughing like, how the heck is she going to do this? I'm going to try to do this vid video under nine minutes. This is so stupid. This is so freaking stupid. Just kidding. Just kidding. You guys asked me to hear um, what those are. They're actually birds. You guys are like, what the heck is on you? So I'm just doing here soft little padding motions. Why did I go away from YouTube? Let's talk about that. I left about six years ago. Things were starting to pick up on my channel. Um, Google actually had a lot to do. Oh, I'm sorry, Google. Um, there was a lot of success. A lot of brands were contacting me. I had a lot of collaborations with like SKR Hair. It's going to be really hard to talk. And I kind of just felt like I needed to live life and, and, and stop documenting everything. I'm just going to do a classic mountain here. Um, I wanted to live life more and my nephews just were born. Um, my brother had just gotten married as well. And that was like a big pivotal point for me. Family is really huge, especially my nephews. And then tragedy kind of struck. My brother's wife at 32 was diagnosed with cancer again and she passed away in 2018. So we dealt with that and it just kind of reminded me of when my mom died at that same really young age. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> I don't want to cry. And um, I had to take care of them and it was, that's a mountain. Wow. Let me really get in here a classic you know he says scrape it right and then we're gonna move a little bit of this just to give like an airbrushed it's just fun okay it's just fun you guys so um she passed away and I didn't really feel like filming at that time I actually decided to return I wanted to return then I'm just gonna pull this hair back and I wanted to return then, but it was just really too painful. And they were very small, my nephews. They were only about, they were two and three. And I just didn't feel it was appropriate to like film videos during that time, obviously. So what I'm doing here is I'm padding to give that classic Bob Ross mist. This is so hilarious, but I love these videos. I love them. I'm not doing anything on the other cheek. Mm -mm. So I'm taking this candid, um, what's it called? Revlon. <laughs> and I'm just going to mimic the snowy tops in the mountain. I'll fix everything. I don't really have a white here. This is insane. I knew when I was going to do this, that it was going to be retarded. 
and I use that lovingly. Use it lovingly. So um, that's why I went away. The six years was really, really hard, you know, to not be creative. And then I had a boyfriend and I just didn't, <laughs> mascara, I'm using. Um, I just didn't feel like it was appropriate at the time to be filming. But I think if I, I feel like if I kept going, I would have been more successful and I think I would have had a lot more viewers and subscribers. I've lost subscribers recently from coming back. Oh well though. So I'm just using lipstick here and I'm going to do like the crested valley. It's very fast. Okay, whatever. Okay, just doing my best. Bob Ross on the face. And following that. It is so weird doing everything in the reverse. Okay. <laughs> Getting a little bit of gold here from this L'Oreal palette. And I'm just doing the little bushes with a standard uh, eyeshadow brush, as y'all know. So this water here in the middle is kind of where I want to concentrate on. I'm getting some pitch black eyeshadow. I'm just going to fill in the rest of the land mass. This is like a really cool Halloween idea. Like just go as a Bob Ross painting, right? Halloween is so far away. Um, another question in my phone was, why did you change your name from Phoenix BD to the Moon Divine? I wanted to kind of, when I did return to you guys, I wanted to show the change and I guess the womanly growing up of not being 21 anymore. And this is just some glittery uh, green. <laughs> not even a fair tutorial for you guys. It's not even fair. I mean, fudge, fudge. Um, I changed it because I started following like a lot of people who did tarot, but they didn't do it in an evil way. They were doing tarot just for spiritual reasons. And I felt like I was going down a path where I was getting spiritual guidance all the time. I was seeing synchronicity pretty much all the time. Just using some glitter here. This is so funny. It feels neat. I shouldn't have done the glitter. Shouldn't have done the glitter. I was seeing like 1111 a lot. I was seeing 777 like throughout my, I guess my years where I was broken up and just being single. And I just wanted guidance. Like I just wanted to be guided. And so I felt like the moon is something that's very, very divine for women. It is a symbol of wisdom. I do like a little sun. The Q-tip. Just because right now my brush is packed on with gold from the L'Oreal palette. And I wanted a more genuine sun. <laughs> just wanted to do something fun today, but it just looks like crap. And so I picked the moon. I wanted to name my channel The Sun and Moon guide it or the sun and moon warrior but i thought it was a little, a little too much okay and now i just want to perfect not that there's much to perfect by the way i just want to do a little bit of his happy little trees This is so funny. A little bit more of a landmass. Just get in there. <laughs> I just love these videos because I just felt like being fun today, but it's actually ending up to be a childhood problem here. Um, Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to end it here. This was completely a dumb idea, but I figure this is just going to make you smile for today. I have no shame in making you guys feel good. I feel bad for the day and I love it. 
Um, I do have some spiritual readings today. There's my classic Bob Ross on my face. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful weekend. I do have a haul video, but I have to wash this all off before I even show you what I got. It's going to consist of things from Pretty Little Thing. Uh, where else did I get? Forever21.com. And I also have a necklace that I got from eBay, but they have it in multiple colors. I'll show that in the next video. Thank you for watching.